Hi, and welcome to another episode of Type With Me. Within this episode, I want to talk about the keyword Infia. Infia is a difficult keyword, but with some examples, I hope to uh, show you how you can use it and what it does to your TypeScript application. Are you ready? Let's go! So the first example is flatten if array, right? So it is uh, something else. And, and we look into R and we try to find out if it's an array. And if it's an array, then we are going to strip out the array um, type there. So we are going to strip out the array uh, type there. Otherwise, we're just going to give T. Right. So if we apply this to this construct, we have here a type string array, right? So we do flatten if array from array string, and then we got some magic. And that some magic is a string, right? So the other magic is just a number because this is not an array, right? So then we get number. And... Um, that's it. It, it. It's indeed a very uh, difficult example. I, I, I found that too, but yeah, it just already explains it with certain words how you can work with it, right? So here you have just infer r because you are just going to infer a part of the type and then you're going to extract it from that, right? But okay, let's let's give you a little easier example to go further with right so an easier example would be the following right we have here unpromisify and then we have unpromisify we can just very easily do t extent from promise and what we want to have is infer r we want to see if we have something here within our promise and then we want to return that value. And otherwise, we just want to return the normal value. If it's not a promise, we're just going to return um, what it is, right? So if we just apply that, right? Uh, and then uh, promise me, right? And then we can very easily do something like this, right? We can do uh, unpromiseify and then value. So I'm just for the moment going to put there any. And I know then here you will just have any, right? That's that's normal because now we get the t back here, right? So but. If we put here something like type and then we have um, promise type and we say that it is a promise. of type string right well then when we use this one here promise type here we get here string right another great thing what we could do for example here just is is um let's say array whatever and then here you get of course an array you can also very easily uh, make an unpromiseify of flatten if array right and if you do so with unpromiseify and then flatten if array you can just play around with it and and, and, and see how it goes well the biggest question of all is do you really need to use these in fear uh, keyword right but if we just do this then you will see that we get an error there 
you say cannot find name r exported type alias and promisify has or is using private name r so it's it's very important to use this in fear here otherwise the compiler will give you an error but that was also my reaction why do we need to have that in fear it would, would it not makes more sense to just have the r there if you have an r here on the right then you can use it also here but if you don't have it here well, you need to extract it from one or another way, and then the inferior uh, keyword is very important there. So these are some basic examples to really show you how to use it um, very easily within uh, type definitions, right? So a little bit more of an, uh, a more advanced, uh, construction here is, is the following. So we have a function with one uh, object argument, p extends, and then here x uh, string any, so some kind of dictionary, right? And then we have here r. Then we say here that props is p, right? And p is just the p extends x string any right and then here we say that it returns r and that's what what it returns right so if we want to see what's in what it what's in p what's in the properties p right we need to declare something like this right uh, we have a type destructured arcs of function where we have f extends function with one argument any any and then we say that f extends function with one argument we infer p the first part right and that's 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 the first part our props what's in our props and then we say n and we return of course what's in our props otherwise we just return never so here we have a function which has props and it has one prop uh, x which is a number and one prop y which is also a number and it returns a string right and if you want to know this specific type here we need to do something like this props is the structured arcs of function type of my function and yeah, so that that's that's type of my function that's this one right so if you're gonna see here it will be this right it will be props x number y number and then of course we we want to know what it is and so in this case it's x number y number right and so we can really easily extract certain types from from a function or from from something else uh, in fear really helps you um, to do so so if you really want to have a certain um, type extraction well then this is very handy I know it's 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 a hard concept and you really need to play around with it a little bit a little bit but once you really understand the power on on, on infer you will definitely use it I'm, I'm very convinced that you want to use it then all right so you will see if i want to make a string out of it you will see that we get an error here Say type string is not assignable to type number. So for this reason, it's it's yeah, in my opinion, a very powerful thing to do. So I can very easily here put console dot log of props right. And or you can very easily extract it. Um, so that's basically what I want to tell you. I hope you understand it. I hope you it was very useful for you. 
uh, that you will apply it towards your uh, TypeScript application and that in fear is not anymore a very uh, abstract or hard thing to understand it really is to just uh, identify what's in here and what p is so that you can just extract it out of there all right so thank you for watching hope you liked it please subscribe to my channel and uh, see you next time if you have some requests for me to just um yeah uh, explain certain concepts of TypeScript well one of the things that you also can do is just uh, put it in the comments and I will try to make a video out of it thank you very much